Hi everyone, welcome to another session of uh, Singapore Math. We will dive straight into the problem. The problem statement is this, two thirds of Sam's money is equal to three over five of Jason's money. If Jason had $50 more than Sam, how much money do each of them have? So when we look at it, this is a fraction related problem and let's say try to draw the model for Sam in this case first. We read the statement once again, 2 over 3 of Sam's money. What does that mean? We do not know how much money Sam has or Jason has. So if the total of Sam's money is going to be 3 units out of which 2 units is equal to something of Jason's money. So totally Sam has three units right out of which two units is equal to three units of Jason's money and Jason would have three units which is equal to the two units of Sam's money so basically two units of Sam's money out of his total of three units this two units is equal to three units of Jason's money out of his total money which is 5 units in here. So this you can see here this represents uh, the amount of money that is represented by the 2 units and this is the amount of money represented by the 3 units and they are equal. They are equal but we find we cannot compare them right now because the unit sizes are different. Now we have to find a way to make the unit sizes equal. We can do that because this we know that the total amount here and the total amount here is the same. So the method that we use to do that is using LCM. So here you have three units and here you have two units so we're going to find the LCM for 3 and 2. When we say 3 times 2, 3 times 2 gives us 6, 2 times 2 gives us 4. We don't have any match yet. Let's do times 3. 3 times 3 gives us 9 and 2 times 3 gives us 6. So there we see a match here, 6. Right, 6 here and 6 here. 6 is a multiple of 3 and 6 is also a multiple of 2. So 6 is a common multiple and there could be other multiples which might match but this, this 6 is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2. And for us in this diagram what that means is we are for example, let's say two units here, this two, right? Two times three gives us six, which means we are going to divide each of the two units into three smaller units. That's seen here. Uh, so totally we will have six units here. Similarly here for the three units that you see here, right? 3 times 2 gives 6, which means each of these units we are going to divide it into 2 smaller units to get a total of 6 units. And remember, when you are drawing the diagrams, you may not get exactly something like this, right? But it doesn't matter. What we need to understand here is this amount is equal to this amount and if this is represented by 6 units and this is represented by 6 units, then it means that the unit sizes are the same. So that is the key uh, that we need to note down here. Similarly, we can do the same kind of division for the rest of the units that we have here. So here again, one unit is divided into three smaller units. Here each unit is divided into two smaller units. Now we go back to the question. If Jason had $50 more than Sam, how much money do each of them have? So Jason has one unit more than Sam, which means that this one unit is equal to $50. From here, 
solving the problem is easy because we know that Sam has how many units in here it's nine units basically three times three is total is nine units here one two three four five six seven eight nine units Sam has nine units and we know that one unit is 50 right remember these are all equal sized units so each of them will be 50 so 9 times 50 is 450 the amount of money Sam has is $450 similarly let's go to Jason Jason has 10 units here right and so each of the unit is 50 as we know already so totally 500 and Jason has 500 dollars this is quite a simple problem once we break down the initial um, uh, first statement here and draw models for them the rest is quite simple i hope this was useful next we are going to see how the same problem can be solved using algebra if you are not so keen in going to algebra you can stop here if not uh, we'll go and look at how to solve the problem using algebra so the question remains the same two third of Sam's money is equal to three fifths of Jason's money. If Jason had $50 more than Sam, how much money do each of them have? So now we are trying to uh, write algebraic statements for these word problems. Now at the beginning, we need to make some assumptions. We don't know how much money Sam has and how much money Jason has. So let's say, assume Sam's money is represented by X. X is the total amount of Sam's money and Jason's money is represented by Y. Basically Y is the total, uh, Y represents the total amount of Jason's money. Just keep this in mind, this is critical and in that we will try to form an equation right now. What do we have here? Two third of Sam's money. Sam's money is represented by X. So two third of X, all right? And that is equal to three-fifths of Jason's money and Jason money is represented by Y so three-fifths of Y so this is our first um, equation that we are trying to build here we are not finished yet uh, when we say two-thirds of X off is normally substituted by multiplication symbol so two-thirds times X means X over one I'm explicitly putting it here so that we will know what we have to do with it. Basically numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Again, same here is equal to 3 over 5 times y over 1. So this will become 2 times x is 2x, 3 times 1 is 3, so 2x over 3 is equal to 3 times y is 3y and 5 times 1 gives us 5. So now we have to remember uh, what an equation is. The left hand side of the equation is equal to right hand side of the equation. If I want to remove the denominators, we follow the rule. Uh, if we want as long as we maintain the equality, we can add subtract, multiply and divide both sides of the equation but the same quantity. So in this case, I'm going to multiply both sides with 3 which means the equality will not be disturbed. Right? So 2x over 3 times 3, similarly here also times 3. And we know that here 3 and 3, the 3 here is the numerator, this is the denominator so those two 3's will get cancelled off. 3 times 1 is 3. So this side becomes 2x. And this side 3y over 5 times 3 is a numerator. It's equivalent to 3 over 1. So 3 times 3y will give us 9y over 5. So this is 2x and here is 3 times 3y is 9y over 5. Now I have to get rid of this 5. Again, I can go ahead and multiply both sides by 5. And again, the similarly, here numerator is 5, denominator is 5. So 5 times 1 is 5 and 1 times 9y is 9y. 
So we these five gets cancelled off and we have 2x times 5 is 10x is equal to 9y. This is our equation number one. The first equation that we have uh, derived from this first statement here. Now, the second statement says if Jason had $50 more than Sam. This is very clear. Jason, Jason's money is represented by y. y is $50 more than x, which is Sam's money. So if I want to write an equation, there is an equality symbol to make x and y equal because y is 50 more than x. I have to add 50 to x so that both of them become equal. So this 50 is what I'm going to add to x. x plus 50 equals y. So this is my second equation. And in this equation, substituting the value of y from equation 2 in equation 1. In equation 2, it is x plus 50 equals y. And which means y is equal to x plus 50. So I can substitute that over here. 10x equals 9 times y. 10x equals 9y. And we know that y equals x plus 50. Right. So I'm representing that here. Y is written here as x plus 50. And I can expand this. So I get 10x equals 9 times x is 9x plus 9 times 50 is 450. Now I can bring this 9x over here. So 10x minus 9x. 9x is positive here. So when you bring here, it becomes negative. 10x minus 9x is equal to 450. So x is equal to 450. And we know that x is uh, Sam's money. 6 represents Sam's money. So Sam's, Sam has $450. And we, since we know x, we can find out y. y is x plus 50, right? So y is 450 plus 50. So Jason has $500. So this is a algebraic method, a way of uh, solving this problem. Hope this was useful. If you have any comments, please add them in the comment section. Like the video if you like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you again with a new video. Have a great day. Bye.